Shalom, the Lord bless you all. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. It's another day that the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. Even the devil himself has been believing to see this brand new day. So it is a privilege and not a right. I bring us again God's fresh word for as many that are under the sound of my voice. God bless you all in Jesus' name. For my returning subscriber and everybody, I welcome you all in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so, so much, family, for always being there, watching, liking, and sharing our prophetic word, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ to go viral in Jesus' name. The Bible says, For the earnest expectation of the creature, are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of men. So we are here for something again. Hallelujah. If you are seeing this face for your very first time, God bless you. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. Hallelujah. I'm the man God is using. Do not look at the size. Hallelujah. Don't allow the devil deceive you by the size or the look. Then so you might miss your encounter. In the mighty name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word title says, This will be the biggest chance ever in your life. I take it again. The word says, This will be the biggest chance ever in your life. When the Lord gave me this particular prophetic word, the Holy Spirit was giving me some revelation when it comes to the to our lifestyle of Christianity. Somebody like me, I'm a very open young man of God. I don't twist my words. Hallelujah. Because one thing, I'm bold enough. I'm not afraid of anybody. So if I'm preaching the word of God, the word of God, if personally I'm not afraid of anybody, then I will not be afraid to say what God has sent me with. And I will never twist the word of God because I want to find favor or because I want somebody to be happy with me. No. So, and secondly, I am a type of a person that I don't judge Christian. Like, I'm that type of a person that with my little knowledge of God, I don't judge people. You like whatever thing that you're doing, I can never judge you. I can never see you as a bad person. Because with my little knowledge of God, I have learned a lot. Praise Master Jesus. So, I'm saying all this so that we might have some brief recap hallelujah before i touch the heart of this particular prophetic word so the title of this word is saying this will be your biggest chance ever so i'm seeing someone under the sound of my voice that this word is going to you we have we have had opportunities in life and we have lost it a lot of people had opportunities and they have lost it why because of our mindset our mentality praise master jesus there are some people that they are christian they are saving god and their way of serving God is like they are lost in the name of Jesus. You might you cannot save God, then you forget about your dreams. When it comes to work, the Bible says God bless the work of our hands. That means whenever me, I don't only pray. When there are times people call me, Pastor, pray for me. I say, This is your case, it needs counseling. I don't only pray. When it comes to prayer, I pray. But when it comes to counseling, I counsel. When it comes to advice, I advise. So I don't only focus on prayer. So there are a lot of things that with my little knowledge of God, I have learned. Praise Master Jesus. So I saw someone under the sound of my voice. The Lord is telling you, this will be your biggest chance ever. You are watching me. You are hearing me right now. And the Lord is saying this because you have lost a lot of opportunities. Hallelujah. Our mindset. There are people that they call themselves, they are Christian, they don't want to mingle themselves with people, they don't want to socialize themselves. When you see an opportunity coming your way, you will just like try to block. The, no, I tell people, no, no. Though you are a Christian, though you are a child of God, though you are a believer, there are people in your life that you must try to do, try by all possible means to keep that, that relationship. There are people you don't need to let go because you, uh, 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 you are a Christian. Hear me, people of God. When the body of Jesus Christ was on the cross of Calvary, all the disciples, the apostles, people that we knew that they were people that could speak in tongues, they could march fire, they were nowhere to be found. But they committed a man. The Bible says he was a man of influence called Joseph of Arimathea. This was not an apostle, a carnal man, a normal man. An ordinary person. He came and demanded for the body of Jesus. He was the one that brought down the body of Jesus. And that is how the body of Jesus was placed in, in the tomb. So now, if the man of influence was not there, 
what would have happened? The body of Jesus Christ would have stayed there we, we, waiting for the apostles that were afraid. So there are some category of people that we need in our life. Please, you don't need to send everybody away from you. See, see everybody as evil people because they are not in, in that particular uh, 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 way of your own mindset of thinking. Though you are praying, though you are speaking in tongues, though you are a, a child of God, do not miss your opportunities. There are people you must keep. Though they are not Christian, there are people they must be there in your life. There are people you need them for your tomorrow. There are people you need them for your bridge. There are people. If you send away everybody, think of Joseph of Arimathea. Think of Joseph of Arimathea. Hear me, child of God. When God wants to bless man, God uses a man. When the devil wants to destroy man, the devil uses a man. So you cannot ignore man that God himself humble himself to value and respect man. Then you are ignoring man. A lot of people will say, I'm a child of God. I'm a believer. I cannot greet this person. This person cannot be my friend. You cannot keep them in some setting, but at least there are some things that you need to, there are people you must keep. This particular prophetic word said, this will be your biggest chance ever. I'm talking to somebody under the sound of my voice. This has been your mindset. I know when people come across a lot of prophetic words like this, they will get angry. They will be angry because of your, it's your mindset. I'm telling, I'm talking Praise Master Jesus. This is how with my little knowledge with God. There are people I keep the relationship. Even if they are not Christian, I keep the relationship. I know the way I maintain the relation. We need them. We need them tomorrow. Praise Master Jesus. One, I'm a Cameroonian by nationality. Let me ask somebody a question. I am not the only Cameroonian, but there are some Cameroonian that they are not Christian. But if they speak a word, if they decide to say tomorrow, they will, nobody will go out. Nobody will go out. Then can I also stand there and say tomorrow nobody will go out? That is to show that we are Cameroonians we, 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 with a different. So there are people that we call them men of influence. There are people that we need the men of influence. We need burden bearers. People that can be there with us. It's not all about spirituality. If your friend is only that type of person that just all you know is only to pray, speak in tongues, that is all. There are bridge that you don't need speaking in tongues to cross. There are bridge that you need Joseph of Arimathea. There are bridge that you need somebody with violence. There are families. I have seen families that you cannot touch. Those families, I've seen a family that they are not Christian, but you cannot touch. Praise Master Jesus. Because the way the families are, if you touch anybody there, you are a dead person. There are people they don't touch. We need some people in life. In the name of Jesus, God bless somebody. I pray that may you not miss your biggest chance. In the name of Jesus. Don't just say I'm a child of God. No. I have tried to explain this word in so many ways. There are relationships that you must keep. God bless you. For in Jesus' name, amen.